Hi, I'm Nathila. Hi, I'm Doreena. Hi, I'm Matura. And we're here in Nepal as medical volunteers. We arrived at Kathmandu, the capital city of Nepal, where we had an orientation with our organisation, IVHQ. This not only allowed us to gain a basic understanding of the language, traditions and cultures within Nepal, but also allowed us to meet other volunteers from around the world who had embarked on the same journey as us. The next day we took a seven hour long bumpy bus ride to Pokhara, the heart of Nepal, where we spent the next three to four weeks doing medical volunteering. Our days usually began with a 30 minute walk to the Gandaki Medical College Teaching Hospital, the hospital we were volunteering at. GMC is a government funded hospital which provides healthcare to people from the main towns as well as those from nearby villages. Upon walking into GMC, we usually encounter a crowded lobby where people wait in queues to be served by one of the many medical bill counters. We then make our way to the wards where we had many opportunities to practice basic skills such as reading ECGs as well as observing many surgeries. So today I had the opportunity to watch a lap cystectomy which was quite interesting because I've never seen one of those before and one thing that stood out to me was how the surgical staff here didn't really introduce themselves just before the procedure which is quite unusual because back in the UK it's mandatory that everyone introduces themselves and states their role just to make sure that everyone's in the right place um, but they didn't do that here so I thought that was quite interesting. What about you Madhura? So today I was on the Gen Med ward and I realised that uh, there wasn't as many resources as we have back in the UK. Uh, due to limited resources such as alcohol, gel, uh, gloves and tissues, it's very easy to be lax with um, hand hygiene, which is a huge contrast to what we have as medical students back in the UK. So what about you, Ms. Lilla? So what stood out to me was the traditional approach here um, compared to the patient-centred approach in the UK. Um, so with um, patients that come in with a complaint, they will go to the um, relevant department in OPD which is just walking here um, and if they have any other complaints they'd have to go to the other department that would deal with that complaint and um, whilst in the UK there's a lot more communication between different departments and it's a lot more multidisciplinary than it is here um, another thing that stood out was the whole idea of social history taking there isn't really much of that here which is surprising considering that Nepal is a developing country so you'd um, think that the impact on the patient's health would be far greater um, here, so then a social history would be important. So that was quite interesting as well. What about you, Dina? Something that was eye-opening for me was the fact that the hospital had an open floor plan, um, which basically meant that anyone was able to enter or do surgeries at any point in time. And also, there were no curtains between the beds on the wards, um, which is very different from the UK as um, there's a particular emphasis on, on maintaining patient privacy in the UK. Something else that was very interesting for me was the, was the patient files that were kept on patients' beds at all times um, and also the patient's name, age and their diagnosis were written on a board at, at the end of the patient's bed. And so anyone was able to see it and this was very interesting because of, because of the very easy access to patient information here. Um. Beyond medical volunteering, we were also able to experience life as a Nepalese person by staying with a Nepalese family who was so lovely and welcoming. We ate meals together, played games together and washed our clothes together too. Above all of this, the fact that the homestay had a beautiful view of the snow-capped Himalayan mountains around us was the icing on the cake. However, this was not the end of it. Our beautiful journey continued as we explored various parts of Nepal and took part in a range of activities.
It's fair to say that we've all learned a lot by volunteering on this placement and it's actually helped us grow um, as individuals. So yeah. Thank you for watching our video, but just before we let you go, we would like to give a few tips to future volunteers. First and foremost, as they always say, preparation is key. So think and plan ahead for living in a developing country. And finally, be open to welcoming new experiences.